So as children's health expanded into population health, the goal was to see how do we actually reach children where they live, work, and play, and how did we do that in non-traditional healthcare sites. So two of the most um, advantageous areas, of course, are schools and churches. So our first goal was how do we integrate behavioral health or clinical work or other types of activities around the healthcare system in a school. And so our first goal was how do we develop a telemedicine program for schools where we can increase access to care and hopefully an improve outcomes. So schools was just a natural opportunity for us to engage with um, trusted partners in the community to deliver this type of care. So after the initial engagement with the key leaders, it was important that we participate and work closely with the school health nurses because in this model of school telemedicine, children's health does not supply the nurse for each school. So that was one of the caveats, is that the nurse was a commitment and a contribution from the school health system to this program. So they essentially became part of our larger school telemedicine team. And so with that, it was a lot of work and engagement around which nurses would engage the most. And so we really wanted to identify those locations that met our inclusion criteria that also had nurses who were willing and ready to engage in this type of care. I will say that school nurses have been amazingly adapted to this. Um, many of the nurses went into school nursing not because of the great money, they went in because they wanted to help kids. And so what we were offering was a way for them to become unshackled from their scope of practice. There are a lot of things that school nurses couldn't solve for many of their students. And so they are excited that now when they've identified a child who needs a medical service, who may or may not can get to it through their own natural home environment, is that they now could close that loop with these children. And so the school nurses are really our biggest advocates um, in our, our school-based telemedicine program. So the nurses' top concerns were a couple of things. Number one is how are we gonna know that they were enrolled in the program? So um, by the patients actually um, and families completing the enrollment form, kind of took all that burden off the school nurse. So um, when they returned, we enrolled them in the ER and provided each nurse a list um, that allows them to quickly identify if that child's enrolled or not. The second concern is how are they gonna work school telemedicine into their day when it was already filled with a lot of sick kids? So. Um, it's important to know if you are starting a school telemedicine program, think about a nurse liaison as a part of your team. So we were very lucky to have a nurse um, who had been not only an ER nurse for 20 plus years, but had also been a school health nurse. So again, a colleague helping engage with them on how to set up their practice to best engage telemedicine. Sometimes it required moving their room around. Sometimes it required how do you intake that patient? How do you make a scheduled visit versus trying to feel like you had to do it on demand? So our school telemedicine takes both urgent and on-demand calls as well as scheduled visits for those children that they know actually need a visit, but they wanted to schedule at a time when they knew they had less um, things coming into their office. For example, after lunch, all the kids come and take their meds, or before lunch, all kids take their meds, depending on how their, how their system was set up. So they wanted to avoid having visits during those times. So again, having the nurse liaison work with them to create a not only technical workflow, but their clinical workflow to be sure that telemedicine was an enhancement and not a burden to their everyday practice.